we've certainly reached that time of the summer when we're going to have lots of days above 90 degrees and many even will be above 100 degrees here in Oklahoma. When we're working with cattle, I think it's important that we keep in mind that the upper critical temperature, that point at which cattle start to uh, get some heat stress, is actually about 20 degrees cooler than it is for us. And so when we're working these cattle on hot summer days, there's some rules of thumb that I'd really like to encourage you to think about for both the safety of the cattle as well as yourself. First of all, the time of day that you're going to go ahead and work cattle in the summertime. Try to do it before 8 a.m., if at all possible, and certainly I'd like to have all the cattle working done before 10 a.m., and certainly that means that uh, later in the day we'll have the higher temperatures. There may be a temptation to think, well, I can wait until the late afternoon or evening hours when the sun starts to go down. Actually, research has shown us that cattle do not dissipate heat until later in the night and getting closer to the uh, early morning uh, sunrise type hours. And so working cattle in the evening is really not a good idea. That's when some of their body temperatures will actually be the highest. When we're working cattle in hot summer weather, think about that we want to have them standing in our holding pens for as short a time as possible. Use a rule of thumb that they shouldn't be in those uh, wide open uh, holding pens for more than about 30 minutes. And so as you're gathering cattle, think about how many you can work in that 30 minute time frame uh, so that they're not standing out there in that hot summer uh, sunshine without some air movement and some cool shade. And of course, keep in mind that they've got to have access to good, cool drinking water. Cattle that are standing in a dry lot situation on a hot day will actually consume about 1% of their body weight in water per hour. As you're thinking about, as you're gathering cattle and holding them right before they're going to be worked, do you have enough waters available and the quantity of water that can keep these cattle somewhat comfortable. So keep these rules of thumb in mind as you're working cattle this late spring and during the summer months. I think it can go a long ways to helping prevent some situations that can cause some overheating of cattle and some real stress for those of us that are working those cattle. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.